Hi there, this is Demi with uh, How to Make Stuff in Lunar Magic. Today's episode is going to be making a false wall um, requested by Kipo-san. Um, just saw that you were questioning how to make this stuff, so I was like, oh, I'm going to make a tutorial. Da -da -da. So, um, yeah, so let's open up Lunar Magic. I have a um, completely new, unedited version of Super Mario. Um, I was doing another tutorial, but it all crashed and stuff, and I lost it. Pretty neato. So, what we need to do <laughs> to start off is you're going to want to open your Map 16 editor. Um, this will come up with this window right here. Um, for the sake of making a wall, just because, um, I don't know what graphics you're going to be using. Um, we'll be using, we'll go down and we'll be using the, um, the cement block, just for, you know, entertainment value. Um, so what I want you to do is left click on whatever graphic you're going to be using. Um, now I've gone ahead and seen if you have any map 16 tiles and you don't. So I'm going to suggest that you wait till Lampi gets back, which I don't really know when that'll be, um, and request some tiles. If all else fails, you can probably use some of my extra ones if you just need a wall. <laughs> it's not very big. So uh, yeah, whatever. I guess we'll wait and see. Um, so, right, left click on your cement block, um, and then go to whatever page you're going to be assigned. You can see what page we're using down here, like this is map 16, page 6, 5, 4. For this demonstration, we'll be using 4. So now that you have your cement block uh, highlighted and selected, I want you to left click somewhere on your, oh sorry, not left click. Um, I want you to right click somewhere on your your page and that'll paste your block in. Um, you can paste it wherever, whatever, da da da. Um, but what this basically does is it took the original that we um, saw in the, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, original map 16 that Super Mario was using and it pasted it into this new map. Uh, yeah. Um, so what you want to do now is you want to go to attributes uh, this lets you change all sorts of things from color to what it's supposed to do to different tiles that it's referencing for the graphics. What we're wanting to do um, specifically is changing this number right here. So right now it's acting as 130. So what that tells it to act like is a cement block. Mario you can't really interact with it. It's just kind of there and <laughs> chilling out. What you want to change the number to is 25. Uh, so this will make it act. So, sorry, haven't had my coffee yet. Uh, so what this will make it act like is just nothing. He'll be able to walk through it. He won't be able to interact with it though. So what you want to do now is right click that into somewhere else. So these ones up here are still acting like normal cement blocks, but this one, because we changed the attribute and then pasted it in, will act like nothing. It'll just act like air. He'll be able to walk through it, whatever. Um, so now we left click on a normal one, paste it right beside. So the left one is the false and the right one is the regular one. Um, now what we do, we press F2 to save that data. Yes please. We go back to our level, we can close this up. We go back to our level, click on our objects, bring that over, go into map 16. So this was from standard objects direct map 16 access. So you go down to the page that we were using and we see our blocks all jumbled around. Pretty cool. So now this one, the left one was our false one, right? So we select that, left click, and then right click on our level. And it says completely blank tile. Perfect. So that will be Mario, or that will be able to pass through by Mario. Uh, so you can click that all, all over the place. Click a few. Um, but this one still acts as just a block. See, it says Mario can't walk through. So that will be chilling out, cool, awesome, chillaxifying a block right there. Um, now if you want to make like a tunnel type of thing, which is kind of neat too, what you want to do is you go back into map 16, open up your attributes, you leave 25 as it is, but you go into here. You change the layer priority disable to enable. So what that will do, and you paste that back in, that'll be totally right. 
uh, the right block. So what you do, you save that again. You close that. You go back into your objects, paste that in a few times. And what that will do is that the block will appear in front of Mario, which is pretty neato. So it makes him look like he's in a tunnel or something. Uh, yeah, that's about all. That's how you make a tunnel. So let's go check it out in the Zest's Nest. Be right back. Okay, and also a step that I had missed. Um, when you're on your Map 16 page with your pasted whatever you're pasting, you need to press F9. Um, what this does is it brings up a window here. Do you want to save the foreground and background Map 16 data back to the ROM? You say yes. Then you have to obviously save your thing. Da da da. Okay, now let's go test in Zetsness. Okay, guys, this is probably going to be really laggy, but just for the sake of argument, let's go check this out. Okay, so we have Mario, we have our stage. Look, our blocks are here. So the top ones still act as blocks, but everything can interact now, well, or not interact with the other blocks. Pretty neat of beans. So yeah, if that's what you mean by a uh, false wall, then that's how you do it. Whoa, whoa, wee wa mushroom. Okay, so that was <laughs> the first installment of how to do stuff on Lunar Magic. I hope that helped out. Um, if you have any more questions, feel free to ask me. Uh, just send me a personal message or respond to this video or whatever. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.